Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos talking all about relationships and spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, we're going to talk all about betrayal and how to move on and how to forgive and get past betrayal. And this is something that I've had to do for myself. And I feel like so many of us, unfortunately, in today's freaking culture where there's just so much lies and deception and deceit that we tend to have to kind of figure out how to move past this whether that means keeping the person in your life or whether you cut them off we still have to be able to get past it ourselves so that we don't carry it on either into the same relationships or into new ones and for myself I've come to understand that it's actually more about yourself than the other person because although we can't control other people's behavior and what they've done can be extremely upsetting and horrific and can make us react in so many different kinds of ways but how you react and how you move on is down to you it's not down to them you know and obviously if you're keeping them in your life you want accountability and you want them to change their behavior but we can't control whether they're going to do that we can't force them we can't manipulate them into it we can try but that doesn't mean it's going to work and it doesn't mean it's going to actually benefit you in any way whatsoever so whatever they're going to do is completely up to them but how you move forward and how you take care of yourself and how you set boundaries and things like that is down to yourself and one thing that I've definitely learned is to have a standard I do have a video talking about having a standard and a high standard so I will link that up here somewhere but how the you choose to assert those boundaries whether that be in the same relationship or in new ones is so key and so important and then carrying forward how you then choose to love on yourself and nourish yourself and nurture yourself and forgive yourself for even tolerating such bullshit and for even in accepting them into your life and accepting their behavior and then how you choose to assert your standard and assert your boundary moving forward is so so key to be able to actually let go of this painful experience and get past it but also I feel like not only is it about boundaries it's also about knowing your worth and it's also about loving yourself enough to assert them but it's also kind of about forgiving them in a way if they've changed their behavior and they've like acknowledged what they've done and they're actually adjusting things and doing things better then it's kind of about being able to make peace with what they did in the past and being able to let go of it and work through that in yourself so that you can then build a new like I feel like that old foundation was destroyed so now it's about rebuilding a new foundation with this new version of them that you're now dealing with in front of you you know because I do believe people can change but it can take drastic things for them to change or it can take like a mental shift for them to change and if that doesn't happen then you need to decide whether you want to keep them in your life but if it does happen then obviously you can't keep bringing up the past and throwing it in their face so unfortunately even though they've made the shitty behavior it's you that then has to do a lot of inner work to be able to let it go especially if they're changing and i kind of found for myself i found this really frustrating and it can lead to resentment if you're the one having to do all of this inner work because of something that they did like that can start to feel a bit frustrating and make you resent them so again you then have to do inner work towards that resistance and towards those emotions coming up because you don't want to keep throwing it in their face and continue to go around in this cycle because you're angry at them and hurt by them you know like you have to deal with your trigger your wounds your emotions and they need to deal with theirs and they need to deal with whatever behavior it is that they carried out like hopefully that does not happen again and again if it does happen again then you obviously need to decide whether this person deserves a place in your life and what position you get to put them in in your life and assert those boundaries and yeah 
hopefully you won't find yourself in these kind of situations again but of course it always requires a lot of inner work and understanding that their behavior is not about you it's not something that you did it's not something that you deserved it's not something that you asked for even if you did something bad too like we can't continue going in these cycles of tolerating disrespect and also disrespecting other people like is that a dynamic that you want to live in you know and if they've done something then you need to be able to actually sit with that and sit with how that made you feel and sit with all of your emotions and whether you've experienced this before in another relationship as well in the past really kind of like analyzing and coming to understand your own nervous system your own behaviors why you tolerate certain things and the patterns that you've been living in so that you can really address these and address the beliefs that are underlying this behavior so the beliefs that you hold and why that then attracts you to certain people and why you keep accepting certain things and just uncovering all of these layers to your own mindset and the behaviors that other people carry out so that you can actually start to adjust it and change it and not keep tolerating these things because it's not something that we have to tolerate it's not something that we have to put up with oftentimes it's our beliefs and our childhood that keep us there you know that keep us stuck and that make us believe that we deserve it or that this is all we can get and that this is like the best that it is and it's really not true you deserve so much more and you shouldn't have to do this inner work to try and like get past something that somebody else has done but at the same time if you want to keep them in your life and if you want to elevate even if you've removed them from your life if you want to attract better relationships you want to elevate and change your life then that means you have to do the inner work so even though the other person has done something wrong it's still like this life is a journey of lessons it's a learning a journey of growth and elevation and trying to manifest your dream lifestyle and that does require some effort on our part like it requires us to adjust our mindset if our beliefs are lack mentality and if we're not loving on ourselves then actually this is an incredible opportunity for you to address those beliefs that are limiting you so it can feel like you're being backed into a corner and it's their fault and you want to blame them for their actions. And yeah, their actions are their fault because we can only take accountability for our own behavior and our own beliefs. But at the same time, you have to address your own part in this because it takes two to form a relationship. So even though they need to take responsibility for their part and all of the things that they've done and however they've hurt you and whatever they've done in that whole situation that caused betrayal and a lack of trust like they have to take that responsibility but you also have to take responsibility for your part and also your part moving forwards whether that's with them or with somebody else so it can feel frustrating but you do have to take responsibility for it especially if you want to change it especially if you want to move forward and make things better and you do this by looking at your beliefs the beliefs that keep you stuck there and the beliefs that stem from a lack of self-love and a lack of self-worth because those are the beliefs that tend to keep us stuck in toxic relationship cycles and relationships that we don't actually want or relationships that don't serve us. So looking at your beliefs around how you feel about yourself and what your standard is and how you feel, like how you feel about yourself will set, your, will, oh my God, I can't speak today. <laughs> How you feel about yourself will set your standard for what you will accept and tolerate in relationships. So really look at those beliefs so that you can figure out what your standard is and what you want your standard to be and start to adjust it where necessary and then also looking at the patterns in your relationships and how your beliefs have impacted that and the types of patterns that you have had throughout your life as well not just this one but also whether you're stuck in a cycle with this one you know and it really comes down to forgiving yourself and forgiving the other person yourself for tolerating it the other person for doing it but if they're not going to change the behavior then do they get a place in your life like you really need to ask yourself this question and if they do and you want to forgive and you want to move forward and get over this betrayal then there needs to be a change in behavior because how can you forgive and move on from something if they're not actually changing you know like you're still in it so how are you going to forgive it do you know what i mean so 
If they're changing their behavior, then it's making peace with yourself and trusting yourself that you are safe, that you are okay, regardless of what anyone else does. And I feel like this is something that I really struggled with and something that I'm still working on today, you know? It's like developing such a strong self-love, self-worth and safety within yourself that no matter what happens externally, whether that's other people, whether that's situations, opportunities, uh, different like money things and career things, whatever happens in your external reality, you have such a strong foundation within yourself, like knowing yourself, loving yourself, that no matter what happens, you know that you're going to be okay, whether people come and go, whether they day, whatever it is, you know that you're okay, that you're safe, that your life doesn't get to crumble just because somebody else made a bad decision, you know, like you really develop this foundation within yourself that you feel okay, even when negative emotions come up, even when betrayal happens and you're absolutely devastated and you're crying every day, you're still okay within yourself and you know that you're going to get through this, you know. And that's something that really happened to me the last time I dealt with portrayal was like, even though I was absolutely devastated and like sunk so low and found it so hard to move through, at the core of that, underneath all of that, I knew that I was going to be okay. I knew that I could get through it, even though I didn't want to, even though I didn't want to be in this and I didn't like it, I knew that I would be okay and like in a year's time or in five years time I knew that at some point I would reach a space where I felt okay and even though I wasn't in that in the present moment like I just could see that vision but still had to go through the emotions do you know what I mean like it's not that it's an easy process it's not that it's just fast and you just get over it but it's that you know that through it you're gonna be okay at some point and you kind of have to love on yourself a little bit more each day because it's a process to forgive people. It's a process to get past the like imagination where you can visualize what happened and you know all of the thoughts that come up and depending on what your beliefs are, so much can be going on internally. So you need to t go easy on yourself, take it easy because it is a process to really work through this emotion and work through these beliefs and depending on what happened, like having the other person around you and stuff, it can be difficult. So go easy on yourself, love on yourself a little bit more while you're dealing with this situation. And remember to assert your boundaries, figure out what you want, figure out what your standard is and assert them, make it clear. Like if you're gonna be forgiving this person, you need to be clear on the fact that you will not tolerate this shit ever, ever, ever again. And if it does happen again, then you need to be able to have the foundation of self-love to be able to walk away, you know? So this is an incredible opportunity to work on yourself and on your self-love and on how you feel about yourself and how you feel about life and what you will and won't accept. Working on those things so that no matter what this person does again or doesn't do and no matter what future people do and don't do you're going to be okay and you know what you want and you know what you deserve you know life really is such an internal I want to say battle because it can be a battle at times but it's also just such an internal exploration and an internal kind of process and understanding with yourself everything comes back to yourself comes back to how you feel about yourself and that's what will change your external but remember that we can't change other people so you can only be clear on your boundaries and what you will and won't accept and then you have to decide where people fit into that and if they don't fit into it at all you know so yeah I hope this video was helpful thank you so so much for watching I really appreciate you definitely check out the description box below for all links to everything about me my music our group chat on telegram my phone number you can whatsapp me and everything else about me and I will see you in the next video hope you have the best week bye